Eat these five powerful foods to boost kidney cleanse. Before we discuss how to help with kidney cleansing, let's make sure we're on the same page about what cleanse means, as this has been quite a controversial topic among the healthcare community. Some folks argue that our kidneys are designed to cleanse our bodies of toxins, so we don't need to do anything extra. Sounds reasonable, doesn't it? But think about it. Do your home water purifiers always stay clean after filtering water? Do they never get dirty? Of course not. When you eat a lot of processed foods and red meat, smoke, drink too much alcohol, or take too many medications, your body can become overloaded with toxic molecules, such as heavy metals or free radicals. These toxins can damage your kidneys or cause painful kidney stones when they build up. Sometimes, just like we clean our water purifiers, we need to give our kidneys a little extra support to remove any leftover waste that hasn't been flushed out through urine. In simpler terms, we can cleanse, and we do need to cleanse our kidneys of extra toxins. Some presume cleansing means instantly removing all toxins. While it's a nice idea, our bodies don't quite operate that way. Most detox diets haven't been scientifically proven yet and might be falsely advertised. In fact, following a detox diet to remove toxins can be risky. For example, in 2018, after trying a 5-day kidney cleanse, a healthy 67-year-old man experienced dangerously low sodium levels in his blood. This condition, called hyponatremia, can cause life-threatening problems, including brain swelling. So, the bad news is that cleansing your kidneys in 3 to 5 days is very unlikely. But the good news is, you can make nutritional changes in your diet a bit and gradually boost functioning and support cleansing of your kidneys gradually, day to day. You know, it takes years for your kidneys to be filled with toxins or injuries. So, a good cleansing journey takes time. But trust us, it's totally worth it. Imagine waving goodbye to tiredness and headaches. Feeling full of energy again. Getting quality sleep and not making endless bathroom trips anymore. Yes, you can get all these. And the secret might just be sitting in your kitchen right this minute. Now, forget about fancy routines or supplements. Let's keep it simple and natural, making the most of what you've got at home. The best thing we can do for your kidneys is eat more antioxidant-rich foods. Why? Antioxidants play a big role in cleansing your kidneys from toxic molecules called free radicals, the culprit behind many kidney diseases, not to mention protein and DNA damage. When there's an imbalance between harmful free radicals and antioxidants, it results in oxidative stress and inflammation, which are major causes of kidney disease. So, Boosting your antioxidant intake is crucial for supporting kidney cleanse. Luckily, antioxidants are readily available in many natural foods, and we're here to help you discover the top sources. These foods can also lighten the load on your kidneys, keeping them clean from the beginning. These nutrient-dense foods are packed with all sorts of goodness to support kidney cleanse and detox. And the best part? They're delicious and easy to add to your meals. Stay tuned for these incredible insights to keep your kidneys cleansed, healthy, and robust. Before we dive in, kindly note that all information you'll find in this video is fact-checked, unbiased, and reviewed by qualified professionals. Alright, it's time to swing back to the first natural food to support kidney cleansing. 5. Tofu and tempeh for chronic kidney disease, or CKD patients, experts often recommend eating more soy products, such as tofu and tempeh. These foods are low in phosphorus, potassium, and sodium, making them supportive for people with kidney diseases. Plus, 
They are packed with other important nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, and protein. For example, CKD patients need high-quality protein, and soy foods can provide that. Unlike some plant proteins, soy protein is considered a complete protein containing all nine essential amino acids which your body needs but can't make on its own. A study in Nature looked at nine clinical trials involving 197 people with CKD. When these people consumed soy protein, their blood levels of creatinine and phosphorus dropped greatly. This decrease eases the workload on their kidneys which have to filter these substances. In this study, soy protein also helped reduce triglycerides, a type of fat. This is good for kidneys because high levels of triglycerides have been linked with kidney function decline. Moreover, your kidneys process plant and animal proteins differently. For instance, according to Nutrition Facts, after eating tuna, your kidneys work 36% harder within 3 hours. But when you eat tofu, which has the same amount of protein, your kidneys often don't have to work any harder than usual. In other words, eating more tofu and tempeh instead of animal proteins may take more stress off the kidneys. In addition to protein, tofu and tempeh contain many antioxidants, B vitamins, and fiber. These nutrients help fight body inflammation, a major cause of chronic diseases, including kidney diseases. So, eating them more is like giving your kidneys extra protection. Tempeh, as a fermented food, could be a better choice than tofu. Fermentation involves culturing with beneficial bacteria or probiotics, which gives tempeh more protein and less sugar. Moreover, eating more good bacteria from tempeh may support your kidneys, as adults with kidney disease tend to have more pathogenic to beneficial bacteria in the gut, known as dysbiosis. Just a reminder, while fermented soy products are nutrient-dense, miso, unlike tempeh, can be high in sodium. For people with kidney disease, their kidneys can't filter the excess sodium, so it's important to keep their sodium intake under 2-300 mg. To give you an idea, a single tablespoon of miso can contain as much as 634 mg of sodium. If you're enjoying our video so far, please give us some hints by dropping a like, and then we'll make more content like this. 4. Seaweed Seaweed is a type of algae that grows in the sea. Recently, seaweed has gained attention for its kidney healing properties with fewer side effects than conventional drugs. Specifically, researchers are looking at the compound fucoidin from brown seaweed as a potential treatment for CKD. This antioxidant has shown real potential in addressing kidney issues like chronic kidney failure and diabetic nephropathy. Plus, fucoidin seems great at tackling inflammation oxidative stress, and kidney fibrosis. It's like treating your kidneys to a relaxing spa session. Also, seaweed contains many other antioxidants like vitamins, tannin, and phenols. But before enjoying seaweed, let's pick the type you prefer. Common options include dulse, hiziki, kelp, kombu, nori, and wakame. There isn't a set daily amount of seaweed recommended. In clinical trials, beneficial doses have ranged from 130 to 1, 500 mg per day. Choose seaweed from trusted suppliers with strict quality controls to lower the risk of heavy metal exposure. Look for those certified by reputable organizations for heavy metal content or at least come from less industrialized areas. But wait! Is seaweed safe for kidney disease? Note that seaweed is quite high in potassium and sodium. Removing the excess amount of these minerals can be a challenge if your kidneys aren't working well. But if your kidneys are healthy, they'll handle any extra potassium and sodium just fine, 
so you can enjoy seaweed without worry. Let me repeat that. Seaweed is a fantastic choice if your kidneys are in top shape. Seaweed is low in calories but rich in minerals, making it beneficial for any detox diet. Its high fiber and water content can support digestion, aiding in blood sugar control and weight loss. This can indirectly benefit your kidneys, because diabetes and obesity are common causes of kidney diseases. Moreover, eating more fiber can help reduce your risk of kidney stones and kidney diseases, and seaweed is a great source of many fiber types. On top of that, alginate, a powerful fiber in seaweed, can bind with heavy metals and toxins, helping your kidneys remove them from your body. Reports suggest that in five cases, using a combination of pectin and alginates reduced heavy metal levels by around 74% without any side effects. Seaweed also contains phytochemicals, further having protective benefits in the body. Plus, even though seaweed has low protein content, it's high-quality protein, containing all nine essential amino acids, just like tempeh. Plus, seaweed is low in fat, but has some healthy polyunsaturated fats, like omega-3 fatty acids. This healthy fat can help reduce bad fats and support heart health, which is essential for proper kidney function. Just keep in mind that seaweed alone can't give you all the omega-3 you need. Let's check out the next section to find another awesome source. For those interested in the evidence, the studies supporting our claims are provided in the description box. 3. Fatty fish When your kidneys are unhealthy or you struggle with an accumulation of toxins, it's crucial to make protein count or get the best quality that you can. Animal proteins, like those found in salmon, tuna, mackerel, and other fatty fish, are top-rated for quality because they contain complete proteins. Unlike some meats high in unhealthy fats, fatty fish give you the super healthy kind. Remember omega-3 fatty acids? We talked about them a minute ago. Omega-3s are indeed a special treat for your kidneys. They have unique properties, like anti-inflammatory and antioxidants, to keep your kidneys in top shape. A 2023 study in the British Medical Journal even found that eating more omega-3 fatty acids from seafood, but not plants, is linked to a lower risk of CKD and a slower decline in kidney function. Specifically, those with the highest levels of seafood omega-3s had a 13% lower risk compared to those with the lowest levels. In another study, people with CKD who took omega-3 supplements, meaning they consumed a significant amount of omega-3, had a reduced risk of end-stage renal disease, or ESRD in short. ESRD is a very concerning scenario when you have CKD. So yes, like we talked about before, omega-3 from plant sources are great, especially for your heart and blood pressure as well as their anti-inflammatory effects. This will indirectly support your kidney's function. However, to reap the most kidney benefits, don't forget to eat some fish. Many organizations recommend that healthy adults should consume 250-500 mg of EPA and DHA combined daily. You can get this easily by enjoying about 8 ounces of fatty fish each week. For example, a typical 3-ounce serving of salmon provides 1.83 g of omega-3, while the same serving size of sardines gives you one. Other tasty fish options are also high in omega-3 fatty acids such as anchovies, herring, trout, mackerel, black cod, bluefin tuna, whitefish, striped bass, and cobia. Eating more omega-3 can be better for your kidneys. But it's important to note that the Food and Drug Administration recommends not exceeding 5 grams per day. Moreover, fatty fish are top natural sources of vitamin D. 
Vitamin D isn't just about strong bones, it does so much more. It helps maintain your blood sugar levels, protects your heart, and reduces inflammation. By doing all this, vitamin D takes some pressure off your kidneys, helping keep them healthy. Any other recommendations for omega-3 and vitamin D? Drop your thoughts in the comments. It might help someone else in our community. 2. Apple Cider vinegar recently, apple cider vinegar, or ACV in short, has been getting much attention for its potential to help kidney stones and lower proteinuria levels. If you have other kidney conditions, ACV is also a great option because it has very little to no sodium, potassium, or phosphorus. This strong smell and tangy vinegar is basically apple juice turned into acetic acid through fermentation. Again, fermentation means some probiotics support digestion, especially in preventing constipation. Good bowel movements are crucial for flushing toxins out of the body, which helps lighten the load on your kidneys. Also, sipping on ACV regularly can help read your body of extra toxins and harmful bacteria, reducing the workload on your kidneys. Simply put, acetic acid from ACV can kill harmful bacteria. This is also because ACV has to be diluted with a lot of water before drinking. Additionally, ACV contains antioxidants and fiber, such as pectin, which can help prevent oxidative stress inside your kidneys. A 2020 study in rats suggests that a CV may have therapeutic potential in protecting against kidney damage and dysfunction. Drinking a CV may also help with weight gain, high levels of bad cholesterol, high blood sugar, indigestion, and inflammation. As we mentioned before, these factors are the big causes of kidney problems in the first place. By helping with them, a CV creates optimum conditions for your kidney health. So with these protective benefits, can ACV help cleanse your kidneys of stones, as some online trends suggest? Actually, solid scientific studies examining the direct effect of ACV on kidney stones are lacking. A 2017 study, however, found that fermented vinegar might help prevent kidney stones. However, more research is needed to understand ACV's direct impact and potential on this disease. To harness the kidney benefits of ACV, consider these simple yet effective tips. First, ACV is generally safe in small doses to protect your tooth enamel and throat. Dilute ACV by adding a tablespoon to a mug of warm water. A common dose is mixing 1 to 2 tablespoons of ACV in a big glass of water. Begin with a small amount, such as a teaspoon a day, and then slowly increase the amount as you get used to it. For a tastier drink, add some raw honey or maple syrup or sprinkle in some cinnamon. Not only does this enhance the flavor, but it also boosts the antioxidants in your cup of ACV. But be careful. Drinking ACV straight may damage your teeth and irritate the stomach lining due to its acidity. The great thing is that ACV is very low in calories and can quickly add flavor to your meals. Using it to enhance flavors can help with weight loss and diabetes management. A typical salad dressing recipe with vinegar use is about 1 to 2 teaspoons per serving. But if you're thinking of taking ACV in larger amounts, it's best to talk to your doctor first, as ACV is highly acidic and can hurt your stomach lining if you have acid reflux. 1. Kale There are plenty of reasons to turn to dark, leafy greens like kale for your kidney cleanse. This cruciferous vegetable offers many nutrients that can help you get key vitamins and minerals, supporting kidney cleanse. Specifically, it is rich in vitamins A, C, E, and K, fiber, calcium, iron, magnesium, and other kidney-friendly nutrients. The high fiber content in kale promotes digestive health, 
which is closely connected to kidney function. Note that even toxins from the gut can build up in the kidneys. So promoting digestion may also indirectly help with kidney cleansing. And the great thing about kale is that it has almost no oxalates. Unlike spinach, Swiss chard, rhubarb, turnip, and many other vegetables, they're high in oxalates. When you eat too many oxalates, they get absorbed into the blood and end up in urine, where they can cause kidney stones. So, eating less of those high oxalate foods and more kale may lower your risk of kidney stones, keeping your kidneys clean. Plus, kale has less potassium than many other green veggies. If you're managing chronic kidney disease and must watch your potassium intake, kale could be a good choice. Even if the amount is less than that of other vegetables, the decent potassium content in kale may help prevent the formation of kidney stones. A 2016 Nurses Health study involving over 3 million people found that eating more potassium reduced the risk of kidney stones by 33 to 56 percent. Moreover, cruciferous vegetables like kale are known for their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. One compound great at this is glucosinolates, which can help protect your kidneys by reducing inflammation and providing antioxidants. As we mentioned before, antioxidants can help fight free radicals and oxidative stress, taking some workload off your kidneys. Research also suggests that sulforaphane, found in cruciferous veggies like kale, could help reduce cancer risk and even enhance the effectiveness of cancer treatments. In a meta-analysis published in PLOS-1, scientists analyzed 12 studies with 1. 2 million people and 5. 773 cases of kidney cancer. They found that eating more cruciferous veggies like kale was linked to a 19% lower risk of kidney cancer overall. This reduction was even higher among Americans, with a 23% decrease in risk. While kale is great, variety is even better. Other kidney-friendly veggies are broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and bok choy. They are super versatile. You can steam, roast, or stir-fry them with garlic and sea salt, or add them to your soups, and they're quite kidney-healthy. You can also eat them raw in salads or smoothies. And there you have it. The superfoods that can really help cleanse your kidneys. They are tofu, tempeh, seaweed, fatty fish, apple cider vinegar, and kale. Adding these superfoods to our meals sets the stage for strong kidneys and a healthy life, physically and mentally. We hope this list gives you more confidence in your food choices. With these superfoods, you'll have more energy and feel better overall. Keeping your kidneys clean means looking at the big picture. Instead of just worrying about specific nutrients like oxalates, phosphorus, sodium, or potassium, focus on your whole diet and food quality. Opt for whole, natural foods whenever you can, as these are more nutrient-dense with the fewest additives. If we had to share just one tip for kidney cleansing, it would be to cut back on processed foods. They're often full of added sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats. And remember, balance, moderation, and a little culinary adventure are keys. A big picture also includes staying active and following your doctor's advice. Remember, our suggested foods are not a substitute for medical care. Everyone's health journey is unique, so it's wise to talk to your health care provider for personalized advice. Also, for the sake of your kidneys, it's essential to listen to your body and manage stress. Chronic stress can really harm not only your kidneys, but also other organs. And don't overlook sufficient sleep to further support detox of the body's systems and hydration. Make sure you're drinking enough water to maintain that light yellow color in your urine. If you enjoyed this video, we believe you'll enjoy the video on the screen. 
Here, we share the five best fruits to help cleanse your kidneys and tips for using them. See you there. And if you're serious about mastering your health and understanding how the body works, make sure you subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon and turn on all notifications so you never miss a life-saving video. Stay informed. Stay healthy.